This is the stator for MG2 in a Gen 1 Prius. Okay, so this is on the end of the, the end of the transaxle. This is our, our primary traction motor to move this Prius down the road. And this particular stator has a problem. You may have heard of the, the short that can occur in the windings of MG2. And when this short happens, the, the motor will have a tendency, or at least it'll want to draw too much current. Now the computer's only gonna let that happen up to a certain point before it begins to cut off the flow. But what happens is where we have the short in our windings, we tend to get really hot. Now if you'll notice right in here, see how this, this dark spot right in here, and if you, if you look really closely you can see some of the, the, the oh, this, this string that the, the windings are kind of wrapped in to hold, hold them together has actually started to deteriorate. This is pretty minor. Okay, these stators can, can short out and get so hot that this, this whole thing can just become charred and black. This one's pretty minor, but it was definitely bad enough that it affected the performance. It was setting uh, DTCs um, that related to a, a short between phases. Okay, so we've got, we've got three phases here. What's happened is the insulation in here has broken down enough that it's allowed current to go from pass between phases in, in a way that it shouldn't. Um, this can be detected with a milliohm meter. So if you have a good milliohm meter that can read resistance less than one ohm with accuracy, then you can actually you can actually measure the resistance between the different phases, and you can determine that okay we have a short in the system here. Um, this kind of a failure can cause can be caused by shorts in the stator, or it could be caused by shorts in the inverter. Um, but using a milliohm meter to test the windings in our stator, um, we're able to determine that, that this is where the problem is. So that, that spot that's kind of dark like that, that's not normal. And, and it doesn't stand out too much. It doesn't stand out like many of the others that have the same problem. Um, but nevertheless, it is definitely an issue. So other than a trouble code, you would diagnose this kind of a condition uh, based on performance. Um, the vehicle will lack power because MG2 is not, not able to drive the vehicle or propel the vehicle like it should. The engine is going to rely a little more upon the gasoline engine, uh, which is, you know, the gasoline engine on the Toyota hybrids assists the electric motor. It's not like some hybrids where the electric motor is more assists the gasoline engine. Um, with, the, with the power split CVT on a Toyota, it's the other way around. So you're going to have sluggish performance, you'll have a check engine light, and then the, 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 the main warning light, or the red triangle of death, as it's sometimes called, will also come on. And so codes will relate to a problem in um, uh, a short between phases or, or something similar, and this is ultimately what it is caused by. So if this kind of a thing happens, you might think, well, we have to replace the whole entire transaxle, and that's not exactly true. It is possible to get just portions of the transaxle from Toyota, and it is possible to pull this stator out of the vehicle without removing the transaxle. So you can, you can simply lower it down enough in order to get the, the back cover off, which is, which is this big cover over here. Once you get that cover off, this stator pops out pretty easy. It's heavy, and you have to be careful, but it comes out pretty easy you can replace just the stator and you can actually restore that Prius back to perfect running condition for much less money than replacing the the whole entire whole entire transaxle